games. You're in the game. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's Thumbs, and today I got something a little bit different for you. This isn't exactly a whole easter egg tutorial. If you want a tutorial and a full easter egg, there's plenty of them out there from guys like Cody and Pizza, Dalek JD, Noah J, you can find them pretty much everywhere. I don't see any reason to clutter up YouTube with them. Uh, this is actually, I just think a lot of them have missed the mark on a few parts and it could be done a lot easier, so I'm just gonna put this out there to do that. Uh, if you need an easter egg tutorial after you're done watching this, I'll put a link in my description to a guy, Tie Your Wheels Game, and I really like. Uh, he's got a pretty good tutorial out there. Alright, the first ritual is pretty easy and I think most of the guides have this one's pretty spot on, but I'm going to show it anyways. Uh, what you want to do is buy the Reaver and pack a punch that thing if you can. Uh, the challenge is going to be dismember arms. So the easiest way to do that is to place the item, stand in the circle, and wait till the zombies get close to you, just hip fire right into their chest. Just body shot them with hip fire shots and it'll blow both their arms off and kill them at the same time. And just kind of spin around in circles doing that until the slasher appears. The reaver also works pretty good on the slasher. It works better if it's pack a punch, that's why I recommend that. And uh, as you can see in this clip, you don't really need it for the first part. Um, I had my buddy kill the slasher at the end of this. He's real denary and he helped me out with this whole strategy. His uh, Twitch and YouTube will be in the description. Any of you guys that need help with Easter eggs, definitely follow him on his Twitch. And uh, he drags followers through Easter eggs all the time. Occasionally I show up in those games too. Slashes are pretty easy to kill. Uh, they take the most damage in the back, but you can also damage them in the front, uh, especially in the hand that's holding the chainsaw. I've noticed uh, the Reaver does a really good job killing them. Uh, you can see here at the, as he fights this slasher that he is definitely killing them from the front. I sneak around and just put a few shots in the back, but he's blasting straight into his front side there, and the guy goes down pretty easy. Uh, this is on round 10, and I recommend doing this one early if you can. For the second ritual, we're going to need a balloon trap. You can get that by taking two blue gems and one yellow gem and sticking them in any of the totem pole build stations around the map. Uh, I've been able to do it by round eight, usually, in most games. Alright, for the second ritual, we're just going to grab our balloon trap and take the zip line from spawn down to the recreation area. And it's right in front of you where you land there. It's one or two steps. Go ahead and place the item and then place your balloon trap. Now the challenge is to blow the legs off of zombies and the balloon trap turns them all into crawlers right before it kills them. Uh, it's perfect, so all you really have to do is just stand back in the neighborhood of the trap and attract zombies to it, and it'll take care of the rest. I've never failed this challenge once when I've done it with the balloon trap. It's super, super easy, and to demonstrate how easy we've done it here on round 21, just to show you, it's, it's a no-fail deal if you get a balloon trap. Uh, every now and again, one of the lumberjack zombies with the axes, he'll come after you, uh, so you have to kill him with your shotgun, so pay attention to that. But outside of that, um, just stay in the neighborhood there of the balloon trap until the slasher shows up. When he does, hit him with a uh, gas grenade if you have him, shoot him with a reaver. Uh, it's pretty, pretty basic. Uh, it really doesn't get any easier than this. The other added benefit of this method is that the balloon trap will last longer than the ritual. So what that is to say is that when the slasher shows up, the balloon trap will still be attracting zombies while you're fighting the slasher, which will make your life a lot easier as you try to engage the slasher with your gas grenades and reaver. Now the third ritual is just as easy as the second ritual and in order to make it that way there's a couple things you have to do. You have to unlock the Vlad crossbow and you're going to want to upgrade the owl bow also known as the acid rain and acquire that. Once you have those things you go down by the boathouse and on the ground there by the lake you'll see where you can place a spot. Uh, stand in that circle with your acid rainbow and just shoot the ground. Uh, the goal here is to get headshots and the acid rainbow kills any zombie with a headshot pretty much that it doesn't hit on a direct impact so I just shoot it right in the ground and let them uh, stack up and then again at the end of this you can see how effective these gas grenades actually are versus the slasher uh, we kill them super fast this time and there you have it ritual 3 made easy alright the last thing I change is the uh, way people go about the boss fight uh, first of all, to set this up, I recommend carrying mule munchies and whatever other perks you want. Jug is good, double tap is good, speedy run always helps, quick reload is good with the crossbows especially. But uh, one of your guns, you want to have either the deer bow whirlwind or the owl bow acid rain, either one, whatever your preference is. I prefer the acid rain personally. The second gun you're going to want is your reaver, and in your mule kick slot, I carry the Ben Franklin, which is the wolf bow. And uh, the reason why is because the wolf bow, actually at the part where you're shooting the symbols off of the boss, you can shoot him anywhere on his body with that wolf bow and it'll knock the symbols off, which means as you're training zombies, you can shoot him from range across the map with that thing. 
and boom, it's gone. Also, most people advise killing all the zombies, then fighting the boss in a solo game, but I've found that if you kill all the zombies except for one, the zombies won't respawn at all. You'll just fight him with the one zombie around, which is a lot easier, especially when you can hit him from distance. So I just train that zombie across the map and turn around and look back at him. Hit him with Ben Franklin. There it is, nice and easy. I hope this helps you guys all out. Good luck with your Easter egg hunt. If you need help, check out my boy Real Denary on Twitch. His link will be in the description. And tell him Thumb sent you. I'll see you guys all in the next video.